Hi, hello. Yes, I am coming to you with two different eyeshadow looks. I just got done filming my Build Your Own palette for the month of January, and I decided now was the time to film the intros for my makeup declutter series, or at least for a couple of the videos. Y'all, my creams drawer is getting out of hand. I think I actually have footage to show you. So enter the no judgment zone at this time. <laughs> okay, this. This is what we need to get rid of. And I would say probably 60% of what is this <laughs> is cream blushes. So we need to do a ruthless declutter here. I really need to get my life in order. So that's gonna be the plan. I just wanted to give you a peek. <laughs> but seeing that drawer is really what got me in deciding I needed to do a little declutter. It's actually been a while. It's been probably two years since I've filmed a full like category declutter. So I'm gonna do that through this year. Uh, we're starting out with that hot mess situation. So today we're gonna be talking all about the cream blushes. At least I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna separate cream and powder blushes. If you know me, hmm, I, I really, I really love a good cream blush. I love a good cream blush, and I just could not say no in 2023. Made evident by this drawer. So that's what we were going through today. Uh, I did not have a goal of like I want to reduce my collection by X or anything like that. It was just like let's get this chaos under control, get rid of anything that really isn't sparking joy in my life, and to just. Be more organized so I hope that you do enjoy but if we haven't met before my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel I strive to keep beauty real real honest real relatable and real fun so if that sounds like something you'd enjoy don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos especially if you love a good declutter moment because I've got them coming I have filmed several and I'll just be sprinkling them throughout the winter and maybe even into the spring so if you enjoy make sure you're subscribed and that you've hit the notification bell so you can get notified of those because lord knows the youtube algorithm does not does not love us small creators so i would really appreciate that all right let's get into this declutter okay you know honestly can i just say that i am surprised that this is and this is going to sound crazy but i'm surprised that this is all i have in that drawer it feels like more i feel like i do actually have a pretty significant amount of um, cream and liquid highlighters and bronzers, <laughs> other cream products. And I just need to figure out my life. Now, the one thing that I did want to say is I think one of my problems is that I have a lot of, it's, it's the organization that I have. I mean, one of my problems is that I have too much stuff, let's face it. But I also like with organizers like this, these tubes do not stay up and I think I came up with a solution that I can use right now. I also do not love, as you can probably see from the top here, maybe not, but these organizers are not straight up and down. They kind of angle out a little bit and that's such a waste of space because it's not like I'm using that space underneath. But I have these organizers, I bought them at some point in time and to buy more plastic right now just would kill me. So I'm going to still probably use some of these, but I do have a solution for some of these types of tubey type things. All right, as we get into this, I just found a couple more things that I had forgotten about in other places and in my Shop My Stash Tower. So now I think we should be all ready to roll in. Let's first talk about the things that are right here. I'm not getting rid of any of these. I think you can see most of them. These are my current, I would say, sweetheart favorite creams and honestly the ones that I've most recently purchased. We have the Denissa Myricks Yummy Skin Flushed Balms. These are beautiful. They say matte, but I would say that they're more of like a satin finish just because they're like a good skin finish. Not that they have a lot of like sheen or glow to them, but then we have the Skin Sparks from Phytosurgeons and the Sydney Grace Cream Blushes. Also found this, which is a Sydney Grace Cream Blush that I haven't even opened yet. I honestly... I'm just gonna open it and not touch it. And I'm kind of like, do we even need her? I bought it, it's a beautiful color. I'm just like, I clearly have a lot. I clearly have a lot. I'm gonna set this one to the side and we can decide that in a little bit here. <laughs> so yes, I love these clearly. So I'm pretty much keeping these out as a color reference because if I have other products that maybe have a formula that I don't love quite as much, what is the point? What is the point of keeping them, right? So I'm just going to peek really quick and see if there is anything else that I know that I'm not gonna get rid of. And I can tell you right now, 
My Flower Beauty blush bombs are going to stay. I have three shades, love these so much. I have Nectar and Spiced, which I feel like they might've changed the name of or they maybe don't have it anymore. And wow, this one is almost gone. This is pinched. So those are definitely staying. Okay, what else do I have in here? I also really love the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush. I will actually just zoom you all in here a little bit just now that you've gotten to see some of the chaos. <laughs> I have the shades Sugar Plum and Sweet Nectar, obviously two very like opposing shades, but that's that's really where I started to get, where it's like, okay, I have my go-to like neutrals and then I need to have a few shades that are like really fun pops. So here's one that I actually had in my Shop My Stash for this last season. This is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixir. This was just one that I, I didn't feel the need for. I'm sure that I have something in a similar color and I cannot remember, I can't remember if I felt like this sort of like pulled up product from underneath or if I just found that I needed more to get more color. I mean, this is obviously a fairly like neutral peachy shade, but it just wasn't something that I loved. And honestly, I have a feeling that at this point, technically this product would be expired. And since it's a liquid, I should probably heed that more than I do with some of my other products. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> Uh, here's another one that I know that I'm going to keep. This is actually fairly new and I really enjoyed this. I've actually been tempted to buy a couple more shades, but clearly I do not need to do so. This is the Sigma Cream Blush in Corda Rosa. This is just such a standby every day wear it with anything shade and I really did love this formula. So we're going to keep this one as well. So I'm actually going to put the keepers off to the side just to kind of like get rid of the chaos. I have one of the pillow. I have one of the beauty light ones in here and I know that this is supposed to be a highlight, but on my skin, this is pillow talk medium. And I really do feel like it's more of like a glowy blush or a glowy blush topper, which it's absolutely beautiful and I'll be keeping it. Um, yeah, it's just, I mean, in the summertime, I guess if I really blended it in, it could be more of a highlight, but for most of the year, it's something that I think about wearing as a blush. So I always like to keep that in my blush drawer. Okay. What else do we have here? Uh, I never know whether to put this in creams or powders. This is the Shiseido uh, Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. So it's whipped and it's a blush, but I love this one. They don't make these anymore. I still love the shade. It's doing well. It was actually in my shop, my stash this last season. So I'm gonna be putting that one away for a little bit, but maybe I'll pull it out this winter for like toasty skin. It's a beautiful, like, you know, just like that kind of red, like a neutralized red shade, I guess I would say. Okay, this Jason Wu product, I've had this one for quite a while. This is in the shade Eclair, and this is more of a like lip and cheek kind of product. I mean, it's a really pretty color. I don't see myself wearing this on my lips. I think I maybe did in the video of the try on of all the Jason Wu products, but I just don't see like putting that on my lips because it is so matte. So I have a feeling that I have some things that are similar. Like I feel like this is the Jubilee shade of the Yummy Skin Flush Balm. We'll pop that on here. I mean, it's more pigmented, but quite close. And then also maybe this Inferno shade from Phytosurgeons. Oh, this looks to be a little bit warmer. Oh, this one actually looks to be, eh, I mean, you know, close enough, right? So we definitely don't need that product. All right, the Lila B. This, I don't know what it's gotten discolored from, but it has. It's a cream product, it's a beautiful orange color, but I just, I just never ever reach for it. And honestly, I feel like it's actually a pretty close shade to the Glossier. Yeah, I feel like this is just getting kind of stiff. It's pretty, it's just, you know, I, I never reach for it. I think I've worn it maybe once and I said that I wasn't gonna keep it if I didn't wear it, so I'm not gonna keep it. Oh, I found Melon. I thought I had this one. I was like, wow, did I really use this up? This is another of the flower blush bombs, setting that one to the side, obviously. So now I have a bunch of these like, kind of like liquid in the tube shades. I really need to decide what I wanna keep. I think the best way to do this is to swatch these out and see if they're similar to anything else I have. Mm, I probably should not be doing this over a very light colored towel. Whoops, totally just got Glossier cloud paint all over my towel. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> I 
it's just a towel. <sighs> Okay, the one tube that I'm going to get rid of right away is this flushed blush from Sephora. It is kind of a pretty color and I really did like the feel of this, but it is so very minimal. Like I could see maybe putting this on on a no makeup day, but I mean, there are lots of products that I can use for that. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this one. It is a unique formula. I just wish that they were more pigmented. So now, here for the swatches. Where where are we? There we go. So this top one is this Milani one. I mean, that is very, very sheer. And I feel like I've had this one for quite a while, honestly. Uh, I just feel like I have other things in my collection. Like I feel like that Sigma Corda Rosa is kind of similar to this. So I can probably get rid of that one. Now this Ilia is a very pretty color. It's thicker than I remember it being, but maybe it always was kind of thick. I think I'm going to give this one a go. I'm actually going to pull this out to go into my shop, my stash for the season. Uh, I already in my previous declutter, I just filmed my powder blushes, which is probably going to be up before this video. So I'll have it linked down below, but I pulled out a few to put into my shop, my stash to either enjoy for the season or honestly just be reminded of whether or not I want to keep it. So I will probably end up doing the same in this video. So then this one is the cloud paint in beam and then we have the cloud paint in dawn that's the one that's now all over my towel these are both really nice i feel like the cloud paint formula when it first came out was fairly revolutionary you know it was sort of like the resurgence of liquid blushes these have a really nice dewy finish but if i were ever to repurchase i would honestly go for something like the blush bombs so i'll use the ones that i have but i probably wouldn't purchase anymore then these ones does anybody remember these the natasha denona puff paints now, I remember when I tried these on that this more like nude beige shade, I was like, this is a very odd shade for a blush. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll mix it in when I wanna make things a little bit more nude or when I just want like a really nude blush, but it's like kind of caramelly and in an orange way. So I, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is a very pretty color. And actually when I swatched it, I was like, ooh, maybe we should pull that out for the season. So maybe I'll set that to the side as well. Uh, this last one is this one. This has actually been in a shop my stash before. This is the Pep Balm. Somebody was saying something in um, the video where I pulled this out. They're like, ha ha ha, that's actually a lip balm. I was like, yeah, it's actually an all over balm. So you can use it wherever on the face. And I choose to wear this on the cheeks most of the time, but you can wear it on the lips as well. And it would be beautiful. While we're talking about makeup artist brands <laughs> that I'm getting rid of products from, let's talk about these. These are the Enlivening Blushes from Lisa Eldridge. I think that's what they were called. <sighs> yep. The two that exploded on me, I did decant them and put them in here and now they've just started drying out. And I know that I've talked to a couple friends who still have some in tubes and even those have started drying out. So I'm, it's just time, it's time to get rid of these. I did probably use each of these another like five times or so after. It's such a shame because, you know, it's Lisa Eldridge prices. They were, the customer service was great to me. So it was just nice to be able to possibly still use these a little bit, but I'll probably just wash these containers out and get rid of the product inside. Okay, more hard decisions. The M Cosmetics, whatever these were called, something color drops, dewy skin drops, whatever. I have three shades left. I have Sunset Sky, I have Peachy Peach, and then I have Venetian Rose. I actually just wore this one the other day. Uh, I didn't have any other like skin makeup on. I just wanted a bit of color and it was absolutely beautiful. The thing is, is I have the original packaging and they are such a pain in the butt. I will say I loved the look of these, but honestly, I mean, I feel like my blush bombs or even the cloud paints can give me a very similar feel and I have pretty similar shades. The one that I'm kind of like sort of tempted to keep is the Venetian Rose, but look at this, like the dropper is kind of wiggly. Not that I even use it as a dropper anyway. I use it as like a spatula, which is just kind of getting gross. I think I'm just gonna get rid of these. Oh, it just drives me nuts. But I do feel like I have these shades in other products. Let me open this one, Sunset Sky. Yeah, I've got, I've got similar. I'll just get rid of these. Oh, tragic. All right, a few stick products I have. I have the Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom in Poppy Girl. I haven't worn this one in a while. I'm gonna swatch all these out just so I can kind of take a peek. And then I also have Sweet Peach Peony in a little mini here. I didn't really wipe off the swatches from before very well, but that's okay, we'll get the idea. And then I have Sun Kissed. This is kind of like a good bronzer shade. This is in more of the, um, the non-glowy formula. 
And then I also have a couple other products. We have Cashew from Bite Beauty. Gosh, this one probably needs to be used up, but look, look how pretty that is. Oh, that is, okay. This one also going into the, <laughs> the Shop My Stash. Uh, this is one of their like, kind of like multi-stick. So it was meant to be like lipstick or a cheek product. This one is probably on its last legs, but it still smells okay. It looks okay. There's nothing funky going on. I think we're all right. And then I have a couple, I have one. I have one Milk Makeup. This is in the shade Twerk. Oh, I haven't even opened this up. This is new. Okay. Well, we might as well just go for it. Oh yeah, that's a really pretty shade. See, that's kind of like a little bit lighter version of this. Okay, we're swapping one out that's really, really old for one that hasn't even been used yet. Obviously very different formulas, but I'm going to use this. I actually used one of my um, milk highlighters the other day, the little mini like glow stick that I have, and I was actually really pleased with it. So now I'm excited to try this one on. Let me know if you've tried any of those. Uh, I might as well pull out these. They aren't in a stick, but they're basically the same dang thing. These are the Merit are they called the Blush Balms Cheek Color? Uh, the shade Beverly Hills. I know that's a very popular one. Oh my gosh, is this pretty close? Uh, it's a little more pink. Okay, it's a little more pink than the Milk one. And then if I can get this back on, I will show you the other one. I have the shade Mood, and this is definitely more in like a bit of like a neutralized berry shade. That's really pretty. See, this is why I need to sort of move on from some of these because I have so many and I just don't see them and I need to enjoy them. All right, this little guy here, this is a Spectrum. I don't even know what they call these, but it's Spectrum. I need, <laughs> I need something to pull some out with here. Let me grab a Q-tip. I don't really feel like dirtying a brush right now. So I'm just gonna grab a Q-tip and we'll pop a little bit of this on. My arm might be just a little bit damp from the makeup wipe. Oh, that's a really pretty, and it's more of a matte. Gosh, that is like the world's smallest swatch. <laughs> there we go, that's a little better. That is really pretty. I really need to use these. Uh, so this one is for sure gonna go into my Shop My Stash. I feel like I needed to like take off a little bit of that top because it was, you know, sort of like cast over. So that's something that I'll just kind of like take this top and break that seal, but this one's going in my shop, my stash. I don't know if I'm gonna wear anything other than a blush all month. It's gonna be like putting blush everywhere on my face because I've got a lot of blushes, but I really feel like I need to use some of these. Okay, Tower 28, I have the shade Beach Please. I mean, it's a pretty formula. Right away, I'm like, I should maybe get rid of this one. But gosh, that's super pretty. I don't know why I didn't think to use this this fall. That would have been a really great one for the fall. It also would have been a good toasty summer shade, but I just didn't use it. I just didn't use it enough. And the wear on these, because it is, you know, I mean, now it's like dried down a little bit, but it is pretty emollient. It's just not the longest out of all my blushes. But I don't know, I can't decide. Maybe it will help if I swatch. Okay, I've got Sublimate here from Obviously phytosurgeons, nope, that's more kind of like a berry. Let's swatch Inferno. Mm, that's kind of close. Oh no, it's warmer. See, I mean close, like what is close, right? Like, <laughs> because uh, sort of like, oh, do I need that other pair of black shoes? It's same but different. Uh, I'm gonna put this with this Milani one and decide as we get through the rest of these. So. I might as well bring out my last of my Fenty. We have Daiquiri Drip here. I just love this shade. I am gonna keep this one. And then we have Rosé Latte. This is probably gonna be similar. <laughs> this is similar to pretty much all of these. Let's face it. It's pretty similar to the, um, the Tower 28. Okay, I have a challenge for myself. Since these are pretty close, what I'm going to do is tomorrow, when I put on blush, I am going to put both of these on and I'm gonna decide. And whichever one I think looks better on the skin, whichever has a better skin finish, and whichever one lasts the longest is gonna be the winner there. <laughs> then we have this one, Petal Poppin. Uh, I don't, oh, you know what though? Look, I have, not exactly the same, but I have some pink blushes from Sydney Grace now, because I was gonna say, I don't really have any 
pink cream blushes, but Sydney Grace to the rescue. I mean, I feel like I could get kind of the vibe. This is like a warm pink though. What about this Honest Beauty one? I'll just open all these up. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. All right, I am feeling pretty good about that because I think that the Fenty were, I mean, they're some of my creams that have been around the longest, I feel like, which probably means that they need to go, but they seem to still be performing just fine. So I am gonna keep the Honest Beauty again, because I think that this is a color that's a little bit different than all of the others that are here. Uh, what else? The Golden Hour Cream Blush Light. I really do like this. This is like the one product I have from Melt. It's still going strong. This is just so pretty. It does have that little bit of sheen. Darn, I need to pull this out. I have to, what I should do is like write some of these down in like, okay, Kelly, next season for spring, you really wanna pull out that blush light. <laughs> okay, so I've got these two LYS sitting over here. I cannot forget about these. So these are the higher standard and these are a matte cream blush and they definitely do have a matte finish. This beautiful berry shade is passion. I'm going to keep that. This really is a tone that I don't have in a cream blush. Uh, and then this one is kindness. And this is a beautiful like nudie peach shade. The only thing is I've noticed that this magnet, this actually belongs in the top part of this component and it keeps popping out. And so then I have to like align it just right. It's kind of annoying. You know what I wanna do is I wanna swatch this next, whoop, throwing things now, next to that Honest Beauty. I think the Honest is going to have a more dewy skin finish perhaps. Oh, and it's more pink, okay. Well, let me see what I have in my other cream blushes over here. Okay, surprisingly, I don't have another one that's quite peachy like that. So what I'll do is I'll maybe see if Jeremy can just like glue the magnet back in. I don't know. I just, I love that color so much. So I'm gonna keep it for now. Okay, two e.l.f. products, one I'm getting rid of, this Jelly Pop Flush Blush. This actually was really pretty on the skin, but it just looks disgusting in here now, and I'm sure that it's probably dehydrated. I don't think this was near airtight. I also have the Luminous Putty Blush, and this is in the shade Isla del Sol. I really did like this product, so I'm going to keep this one as well. So then I have two of these NYX Bear With Me, and I absolutely loved the product, but boy, they, they are just kind of messy. They're this like, gel product and you know kind of oh see like that color is so freaking amazing it's this like beautiful like cinnamony oh look at that though i mean it just like blends into the skin ah <laughs> this one is the shade uh sizzling sun which one was this one Oh, but see, like, I mean, obviously I'm usually using a brush with these, right? So I don't necessarily have to worry about that. But I mean, look, look how well that, it's like almost like a little skin tint. This is the shade Orange Zest. Well, you know what? I just don't feel like this one is that unique in color. So I'm for sure gonna get rid of Orange Zest. I'll probably use this orangey one, which is the Sizzling Sunshade in the summertime. So I'm, I'm gonna choose to keep that one. I thought I might be getting rid of both of these, but I just really do love the formula. If when I go to use it, if I'm like, eh, this isn't as amazing as I thought it was, I might just get rid of it. Okay, one last product. This is the Sugar Ball Cushion Cheek Color in the shade Pink So Much. I just, I felt like this shade had such a unique formula, but I don't know that it's a shade that I really want to wear all that much. It is a nice like staining, thin, balmy, but I feel like it's gonna be kind of close to this, right? Close enough, and I love this formula, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this one go. It's so interesting because I feel like with the Danessa Myricks Flushed Balms, there's just something in this that I can get a more sheer wash of color this one, I just had a hard time with that. I don't know if it's because like I had to sort of like break the seal and then by the time I got my bristles into it, it was just like too much. But I know the couple times I wore this, I was sort of like, whoa. All right, so now it's time to organize. So I mentioned that I feel like I just need to kind of like change up the organization in a way. And I, eventually I do want to get different containers like this. But for now, I will still use these for like the compacts and things and even these little jars, however, 
I have shared about my liquid and cream eyeshadow drawer, how crazy it is and how I had these lipstick containers that I was using to hold them. But, you know, there's obviously lost space here in the side. So I was like, you know what I really need to do is I need to get something that is more sort of like space saving. And so I picked up, these are actually really cute, these little like rose gold lined lipstick holders. And these actually fit the Sydney Grace, the Color Fix, the About Face. So I have several of these now to use because in the same square footage, square inchage, if you will, I'll be able to use more. However, these will fit all of these types of products. They won't hold like big daddies like this, but they will hold the tubes. So this is gonna be what I do. And then that way, if I want to use a tube, I'm not having to like knock everything over to try to pick something out. So I'm gonna use these for things that I can stand up like that. And then I will use these other drawers for, you know, the more like jars and then something taller that wouldn't stand up. Oh, and as I'm like holding this Milani, I don't remember if I put this in the maybe pile, but if it was in the maybe pile, I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's not overly pigmented. And I feel like I have some other, you know, like light rosy shades that will get me through. All right, here we are, they're all standing up. The reason I put them like this on one side is then I can put highlights or bronzers for right now in here that will fit in something like this, just to kind of save space in that drawer. Now we'll put the rest in. All right, here we go. So I obviously have my jar type things mostly in here. I tried to put my compacts and things. This is not, it's not perfect. Nothing is perfect, right? So this will work for now. Oh, if I do that, I can actually put this in here. Again, not perfect. So I'm pretty happy with this. The way that this will go is these will obviously be in the drawer and then this will sort of be like the middle divider and then I can start my other products over here. I think this is gonna work. And these compacts like this will be in a whole other area. Like that just doesn't make sense to try to put in here. So I'm definitely gonna be doing some more reorganization. If I do end up finding some other things to use, uh, I will give you guys an update in the future. By the way, I will link this and also that little cute lipstick holder, this one. I will link both of these down below. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. So. Just a little recap. Obviously, these are all the ones that I decided to keep. I'm gonna throw a few of these in my shop, my stash. So these four right here, and then we're gonna do a battle of the blushes tomorrow. A battle of the blushes <laughs> right here. Uh, maybe I will take a picture and then like post it. I don't know that this video is gonna go up anytime soon, but maybe I'll save a photo so that I can post it up on Instagram. For those of you that follow me over there at Keep Beauty Real, you can see what I decided. All right, so then what are we getting rid of? Should we just do a little tally? Sadly, there's not as much here as I thought there might be, but I don't wanna just get rid of things just to get rid of them. I just really wanna get rid of the things that are really not serving a purpose. So the Physician's Formula Liquid Dewy Blush, we're gonna get rid of those. Then of course, the Lisa Eldridge blushes that are starting to get all dried up. The Elf Jelly Pop, the one NYX Bear With Me. We have the uh, Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush in Petal Poppin. This one from Sugar Ball and the Milani Cheek Kiss and this Lila B. I'll also be getting rid of this Flushed Blush from Sephora. The Weird Caramel Colored Natasha Denona Puff Paint. The Jason Wu whatever it is, multi-stick, and the 3M color drops thingies. That really saddens me. But <laughs> again, I need to get rid of the things that just aren't serving a purpose. And these are the ones that it's like, I either have things that are very similar or these have sort of like seen their end of days as far as formula and expiration goes, 
or I've just maybe changed my mind about them, which is fine as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Oh, and as I was opening my drawer and <laughs> trying to figure out how I was gonna put this stuff back in. I did realize that I didn't even share my Salt New York Cream Tint Pros. I won't be getting rid of any of them, but I do have Tangerine and Lilac, so I'm gonna show those two to you here. Uh, I usually keep a couple different like seasonal palettes. So here we have Cocoa and Maple. Maple is probably my newest addition, as you can see there. And in here, which ones do we have? Let's see, Cranberry, Spice, and Rose. So uh, again, won't be getting rid of any of these, but I definitely wanna pull them out and use them this season. All right, so officially that is the end of my cream blush collection. I just have to say, as I'm sitting here, I'm sort of having, I'm having some mixed feelings. I mean, I have a lot of beautiful products. I also have a lot of products. I have a lot of products. Maybe, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pull these away. We're gonna pull these away so I don't feel quite so icky. <laughs> Okay, at least this looks a little bit more organized, right? Um, this does make me realize though, like what, what could I possibly need in a cream blush at this point? At this point, I don't know what I could need. I will say I do feel like between the mystery bags and a couple of the blushes that I bought uh, on my own, I did not need all of the Sydney Grace that I have. You know, I got quite a few in my mystery bags and then, um, I ended up purchasing a couple, which also, by the way, this one, I'm I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep this. I don't need this blush. I will either put that into a giveaway or find a friend that would like it, something like that, because I, I certainly don't need it. I love the Cine Grace formula. I just don't need another blush. I don't need another cream blush right now. So I really, as I'm looking here, I just can't think of anything that I'm like, yeah, I'm missing that from my collection. I don't really have many like sheeny, cream blushes, but I have so many sheeny products that I can put over the top, so that's fine. So really right now, I'm not missing anything. So I need to remind myself of that as these new launches come out, that it's like, what would make this different? Do I have something like it? And that is what I love doing in these declutters. And that's why I'm doing this at the beginning of the year, because I feel like it just really sets me up being honest with myself about what I have versus what I will get. All right, I'm gonna keep this outro really quick. I hope you enjoyed getting to see my chaos. Thank you so much for joining. Let me know if I got rid of something that you would have kept, or if I kept something that you're like, let it go, Kelly, let it go. I would love to know. Thanks, lovelies. I'll see you really soon.